Welcome back to another edition of History in Your Own Backyard. I'm Patty, and today I am here with Steve Hageman. We are here in Springfield Township at the old Jediah Hill Mill site. Hi, Steve. How are you doing today? Hi, how are you? I'm good. good. Can you tell me some, some history and, and some information about this old mill? Absolutely. Uh, Jediah Hill came here from New Jersey uh, to this area back in 1819. And uh, the purpose was to build a farm, and he purchased 200 acres of land here on this side of the Mill Creek. Uh, at that time, uh, Jediah built a log cabin, and uh, their, basically their dinner table was built around a stump of an old tree, and the log cabin was built around the stump of the old tree. Uh, after that, Jediah commenced work on building a water-powered sawmill. And this water-powered sawmill was uh, quite large for its time and quite different for its time. Uh, the interesting facts about the sawmill was that it was water-powered, number one, mm -hmm. and it used waters from the uh, West Fork of the Mill Creek. And interestingly enough, this mill uh, had a mill race coming more than 800 feet long, was four feet deep, uh, hand dug. And uh, it part of it, the intake for the uh, mill race was partially underground and vaulted uh, stonework. The, the uh, mill wheel found out later that the mill wheel is a inside the mill type of water wheel uh, to prevent freezing in the winter time. Uh, this mill served the communities of Green Hills, Springfield Township, uh, uh, North College Hill, Mount Healthy, New Burlington, all the different areas here for uh, many, many years. And at the time when it burned down in 1980, it was 160 years old. Wow. That's that was very old. It sure was, and uh, it had uh, they used a lot of uh, walnut hand-hewn beams and ran them with flooring in the construction of the mill itself, and uh, took about two hours for it to burn down. Is what the fire chief said. Uh, you, the the light could be seen in downtown Cincinnati, twelve miles away. You're kidding! That was that was quite some fire. It sure was. The the residents of Green Hills they they had used this as as well. It was um it, it served it, it served sure it served it served all the all the surrounding communities, it right? Sure did yes, it did. Okay. The actual uh, mill itself, uh, we believe, I believe, that was constructed by Henry Rogers, which was the second owner of the mill complex. He and uh, uh, Jediah Hill both worked together. After a trip they had in the uh, 1830s, they went to New York to visit uh, family, and it was basically a business trip where they got information on the technology of the different mills and mill structures and types. And when they came back, I believe in the 1840s, they began construction on a five-story mill building. Um, they had a series of five dams located on this stream. Uh, it's close to about a thousand feet away from the original mill building itself. Uh, the mill building, they stopped using water as a motive power source probably around the mid-1880s, the 1890s. Um, initially, there was not a home here on this site. Um, that's because the mill race itself actually went through this yard here and crossed the street to uh, gain access to the mill site here, what we see today. Mm -hmm. um, there were a succession of at least three dams at the main dam site that were all handmade and washed out over a period of many years uh, and replaced. That is the old abutment of the older L-shaped dam that was 140 feet in length, 10 feet tall. Hand stacked, hand cut stone. Well, Steve, can you tell us some information about this gorgeous old barn that is that is sitting here? Sure, I'll try to tell you as much as I know. Uh, from what I understand, the barn was built in 1832 by Jediah Hill, and it was built to serve the farm here uh, to stable all the horses and livestock uh, throughout the uh, seasons. Also, um, Originally, before they built the covered bridge in 1850, right here next to the barn used to be a driveway that crossed the creek, and they had a dry ford right here where the wagons and horse teams used to bring the wagon loads of grain right up here 
right up to the mill site before the bridge was built. As a little time went on in the 1840s and business picked up, uh, they had so much traffic here at this site, Jediah decided to build a bridge here to, uh, you know, serve the mill and the uh, prospering business that he had going on. This is the main driveway off to the right here that goes up the hill and it goes up to the flat area up here where the trees are and it was a turnaround area for the front of the mill where the farmers would unload their wagons with the sacks of grain to be ground at the miller. What they're looking at is the original 1820s tail race that came out of the Jediah Hill sawmill. This is where the water came out of the mill by the creek after hitting the water wheel. This is where all the water came out. Well, thank you, Steve, for showing us this site of the old Jediah Hill Mill. And thank you for watching another edition of History in Your Own Backyard. Remember, travel, travel slowly, slowly and, and stop, stop often. often.